Hello, this is Sir Stillwater. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the Voyager V1. Well, this is another building in my Great Building series, of which I've created videos for all the Great Buildings leading up to this being the Tomorrow Era, and for all eras beyond that. So I have a full collection, I have a playlist in my, in my library, and I've got a link to that down below. And if you're interested in this or any other videos or interested in helping the channel grow and helping more people find this uh, content, uh, please go ahead and subscribe or like um, down below. So that said, let's jump right in and talk about the Voyager V1. So the Voyager V1, as I mentioned, is a Tomorrow Era building. It looks like a giant Ferris wheel, um, which is kind of interesting. Uh, kind of a futuristic looking building, which kind of makes sense for being a Tomorrow Era. It's kind of a proof of concept, conceptual building, if you will. Um, it was a planned building for uh, Abu Dhabi and uh, UAE, uh, the United Arab Emirates. And it looks like it hasn't been built, at least according to the description that I see here at uh, forgeofempires.fandom.com slash wiki, which is the Forge of Empires wiki that I like to reference. I also have a link for this down below. Uh, it's a great resource. I have no affiliation to it. I just uh, really like their information, and um, it's a good place to research stuff for the game, too. So, uh, let's see, this is supposed to be a mixture of a hotel and a giant Ferris wheel. Uh, it's going to feature luxurious cabins that slowly rotate and offer marvelous outlooks. It's kind of a cool concept. Uh, so, we'll see if that ever gets built. So let's talk about some stats of what this has to offer, because that's really what this really matters for in the game. So first off, it's tomorrow era, as I have already said a couple times. Uh, construction cost, let's see, we've got 300, 375, 250, 500, 450. Nothing too exuberant on the expenses, expense to build. Uh, let's see, smart materials is the 500, the 450 is translucent concrete. So, um, but it's nothing, nothing really out of the ordinary from a construction cost uh, quantity standpoint. Uh, size, it's kind of interesting. It's a 4 by 7 You don't see many of that building, uh, buildings that size. You see some 6x7, 7x7, you know, 5x5s and so on. But, of course, it requires a road, as in every great building does. And let's see. Uh, something that's really unique about this building, about the Voyager, or the V1, is it offers plunder goods. This is kind of something, I don't know if there's any other buildings out there that do this, or at least up to this point, uh, where you have the plunder capability. You get some supplies, and supplies are kind of a dime a dozen, really, especially at this level. If you're up in tomorrow and, and you know, level one's giving you 13,200 supplies per day, uh, nothing really right home about um, the plunder numbers really aren't that impressive either, uh, looking at it. So basically what it offers is, this is an additional to when you attack a building, you can go ahead and you can plunder them if you want. And if you do, you can collect whatever. Um, this gives you a little bonus on that. So at level one, it gives you, I think in the description, I actually I do not have this building in my city. I have the prints, almost all the prints for it. I think I need one. Um, to go ahead and get this built. I have not built it because I'm not ready to commit the landscape uh, or the real estate to it. But it says here that it's going to be every, uh, every you know, when you when you raid, you can plunder the first three per 24-hour period. Um, you can go ahead and plunder goods. It gives you a chance of getting a random bonus goods for the first three plundered players of the plundered building's age. So I'm not quite certain if that means that you get three players you can plunder stuff randomly from, or if you first three and you get three, and when you get to level two, the first three you randomly can get up to four per. I'm not quite certain how that works, so I apologize. I'm usually a little more concise in my descriptions of these, but that's something I just don't know. You don't see many of these built. Uh, blueprints don't come around that often because tomorrow is kind of like one of those eras. It's kind of like kind of like in the middle in the mix. Uh, so it is what it is. So, but if you look at level 10, what do you get? It requires 9:30 to build it. Plunder goods, you get 12. So if that's if that said, um, if it's only the first three that you get plunder, you can plunder. You get basically getting 12 goods, which is basically an eight-hour production plus a little bit more. And then you get 42,000 supplies per day, which you're, at this point, you probably have a bunch of other great buildings that are giving you supplies, and you're probably just flush with supplies anyway, so it really doesn't make that much of a difference in often times. So, but that's kind of the recap of the Voyager V1. It's just kind of one of those buildings, I guess I need a great building, you know, in every era, and this is, happens to be the building um, that they put up in the tomorrow, so... That's my thoughts on it. I have, the, like I said, I have uh, just about everything to build it. I'm in no rush to build it. It's cool looking, though. I'll give it that. 
Uh, but um, I'm not a big uh, attacker of uh, people's villages, and I definitely don't plunder if I do it. If I do it, it's for, you know, for something, for a reason where you've got to uh, do something for a quest or whatever, but I still don't plunder unless I absolutely have to. And um, so it's just not my, my not my play style. Everybody's got their own style, so if that's your thing, you know, you know, have at it. This might be useful for for that. So, um, so that's what I've got. Questions, comments, suggestions. Would you build one? Um, do you have one? Um, have you ever built it in any world and decided what you wanted to do in future worlds? That's, um, that'd be interesting to know if it's really one of those things that build it because cool and new, and then you continue to build it, or is it one of those go tos that you want to have everywhere you can? So, you know, leave a comment below to be insightful and help share with the community. So that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned. I've got more great buildings coming. Go ahead and subscribe and you get notified when those come out. So I'm releasing two a week of the great building series, and then I'll be releasing additional videos uh, kind of intermixed randomly throughout the week for other topics. So thanks again. Sir Stillwater out. Bye.